more people are getting hurt at their workplace due to slips, trips and falls. The latest figures from the Manpower Ministry show a 6% increase in such accidents in the first half of 2019. That's compared with the same period last year. And close to 500 inspections were conducted over the last two months in a bid to improve the situation. Jun Lo tells us more. From anti-slip floorings and mats in a kitchen to rubber-sewed shoes, these simple measures could go a long way to lower the risk of workplace injuries caused by slips, trips and falls here at Regent Hotel, Singapore. The Workplace Safety and Health Council is hoping that more in the hospitality sector will adopt such approaches as part of its latest campaign. That's because in the first half of 2019 alone, there's already been a 6% increase in the number of slips, trips and falls injuries compared to the 1,744 cases in the same period last year. And what's more worrying is that close to 50% of such cases happens in places like this, the kitchen. 80% of these incidents also happen during peak periods during, due to lapses in safety that occur while trying to get work done quickly. When such safety and health risks in the kitchen are not well managed, the consequences can be dire and at times fatal. The WSH Council is also urging more to turn to technology, like this automated slicing machine, to minimize hazards and human errors. It also wants companies to build a strong safety culture by encouraging workers to report unsafe conditions. In response to the increasing number of injuries caused by slips, trips and falls, authorities conducted close to 500 inspections in hotspots like the construction and food services sectors in the months of June and July. Four stop work orders were meted out as well as fines amounting to $164,000.